Bob, we have Commodore, we have The World is a Video Game and I'm Just Playing It, also known as This This, and uh, our lovable Mr. Bitch, also known as I Shall Channel a Fanboy at Any Second I Feel Like It. <laughs> Uh, don't mind the I don't mind the uh, objects moving around in the background. They don't. They don't matter. Oh, uh, well, I got some miscellaneous news about Google Docs. Um. Wait, okay, hold on. Uh, it's not big news. It's just that Google Docs now works with Google Plus. Yeah, I, I, I'm, everything's going to wind up getting integrated under the Google Plus platform eventually. I mean, heck, the Android marketplace is now the Google marketplace. It's like everything's going to go. It's just, hi, are, are, you, are you under the G? I, I swear. I, I, you know what? Somebody out there who can do parody videos, here's the parody video I want somebody to put on YouTube. You're running up a staircase. It's like you're going to God. It's like the white staircase. You get to the pearly gates. You get to the throne. You go up there. There's a giant G sitting there. And you hand it something. And suddenly all the white turns into fire pits and everything. And it's just... <laughs> well, <isn't> it <laughs> you know, we already know that one. <laughs> I remember the old pictures when the internet first started. They, uh, they had a picture of like God Sorry, you can't go to heaven. Microsoft owns it all now. That's, that's wrong on so many levels. Well, back when Microsoft was becoming a monopoly, now they're not the threat anymore. Yeah, they're still a threat, but they're a lesser threat. There are other people that are the same level of threat. Google happens to be one of them. Back to Facebook. Yes, the Zucker Pope will indoctrinate you well. He doesn't indoctrinate me at all. I think Bob's the only one of us that's on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, man, too bad he isn't here. <laughs> you, you got rid of yours, right, Bit? Oh, a long time ago. Yeah. You didn't want to play your Farmville. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he, has a, wars. <laughs> yeah, he has a strong aversion to his Farmville. All right. Um, I didn't publish it, and I don't know if I even should now, because we. I, I'm gonna admit most of us were dead wrong about the iPad, which apparently is actually called the iPad Three. It's called a new iPad. Ooh. Hold on, my kids are yelling. Just a uh. Now nah, wait for him. Yeah, give him a minute. I knew he was going to have to go deal with that and I heard him screaming. <laughs> I wasn't wrong about the new iPad. I pretty much was right. Okay, this, this was right. He said it was going to have a retinal display. He said it was going to have 4G. And the rest of us said Except we didn't fix... Except for the 4G part. <laughs> yeah, but what's the point in having an HD display in uh, the basic water? It's all streaming garbage. Well, no, you guys... Everywhere. Actually, you guys were right about the uh, HD, uh, about the retinal display. Uh, no, I, no. I thought we were right on it. I thought we said there would be 4G. No? You, so, uh, I, okay, I was dead wrong. I was saying I wasn't, see, I was saying 50-50 on the 4G, and because I am a web developer slash designer, I was praying to the gods that there would be no retina display to make designing web pages a pain in the you-know-what as a result of the iPad. This is what happens when you pray to God. <laughs> I oh. said gods. <laughs> well, uh, I was only wrong about two things: the 4G and the Retina display. I mean, in the Retina display, I didn't. I thought uh, the iPads already had it. No, it, it it had a display that was appropriate. Now, yes. now it has this Retina display, which is a pixel resolution on a little 10 inch screen that is higher than most people's 22 inch monitors. 
and you can only imagine how the web's going to come across on that. You know, it, it's just uh well, it's not the most modern at all because even the even the 32 inches ones are you know 27 inches. Yeah, it, m most of your desktop monitors are 1920 by 1080 or 1900 it, it, it's uh, it, uh, it, excuse me, night. What is it? Nineteen twenty by ten eighty, or nineteen twenty by twelve hundred, depending whether they're sixteen by nine or sixteen by ten. Yeah, everything else, I was right about. Now, that. I think the general public was more right about this for the first time because, like, back in the day, like they never got it right, but this time they pretty much got it right. You know, right in display. I wouldn't think they'll put it there. I thought it'd be way too freaking expensive. Where else would you know? The thing is, where else would they go? I mean, there's what, what else are you getting? Well, another hardware change. Usually, they would do it, but oh, I'm just no, they don't. Yeah, I get it. Well, I don't yeah, think so they're, they were. Go ahead. Oh uh, no, I was gonna go ahead and let you let you finish. I was gonna say that I the they did put a new chip, so that damn thing's running the uh, four GPU cores, man. So. Uh, well, but it's it's a variation of the A5 chip, so it is. It's an A5X. So, yeah. I mean, that's an A5.1. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. A5 came out, an MT5.1. <laughs> that's right, so now Angry Birds will play even faster. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now we're Infinity Flames. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know what? Honestly, with these being the improvements on this thing, I, I'm wondering, I, I, you know, you look at the pictures of Cook coming out there, and it's like, it's clear. Hi, I am trying to be Steve Jobs. I no, am not. No. He did things a little different, and that was one of the shortest keynotes ever. Oh no! Yeah, I know that, but it, it, it was it was like that it was. was that, that was the end. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, how long did this thing go on for? It's like it started at about yeah. one. And yeah, it, it was well, just. Yeah, but isn't everybody trying to be Steve Jobs nowadays? Nah. Nah, not really. Uh, oh, come on, what about that Asus thing with the pad phone thing? I did a video on. I did a video on the new iPod 3 or the new iPod pad or whatever and I remember hearing from a CNN reporter when he got up and said that, that one of the only one of the real problems was that half these customers were not really impressed but then again you know with all the high expectations like that holographic crap that was never going to happen yeah, no, we do need, I, I do need to cut that video in, even if we don't publish the other part, because it's, yeah, like, people, what, I, I, I realize it looked cool, that, like, concept, it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to have holographic football players running on top of your eye, bullshit. You guys expect shit like that. <laughs> oh, though that technology does exist, but, uh, like, their iPad would cost 20K retail. Actually, no, see, the holographic technology at Disneyland in the, ha in the haunted house and to get that technology to work they usually have to hook up it to a plug-in or a car battery. Yeah. So the, the iPad does not have enough power. Well it, it, it would become the eye brick. You know it's about yeah, <laughs> it's about yay big and it's like <laughs> yeah, I had a Mag, uh, Mag say block or whatever like they do in the MacBooks or whatever. <laughs> So you know, Apple had a class action lawsuit because of that uh, power mag thing or whatever it is. Oh, oh the so magnetic... I got, I got an email. Yeah, I got an email. The magnetic cord? Yeah, that mag thing. Wasn't it called MagSafe or something? What is it called? Mag something or other. Yeah, yeah why, 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 did they get a su why did they get a suit over that? Um, let me look at the damn case. They got a USC prompt. <laughs> but uh, anyways, about the CNN reporter, he said... That the iPad, you know, Steve. I mean, they could have. I mean, they could have presented the iPad. It would have grown arms and legs. Got up, got you coffee, and served you breakfast, and you would still feel disappointed because everybody's expectation was way too high. Well, and that's the primary reason Microsoft killed the Courier project because they were just convinced that no matter what the heck they released, you know, people were going to be. But it doesn't do this. MagSafe adapter settlement administrator. Well, okay, what's the suit over, though? <sighs> Who's affected? You're a class member. If you are a United States resident purchased in the United States an Apple MacBook or MacBook Pro computer or an Apple 60-watt or 85-watt MagSafe MPNT power adapter. What's this about? The, law the lawsuit claimed 
that the MagSafe T adapter is defective in that it allegedly dangerously frays sparks and prematurely fails to work, and that Apple engaged in uh, misrepresentations regarding the uh, adapter. Apple denies all allegations and uh, has asserted many uh, defenses. Apple is entering into this settlement to avoid burdensome and costly litigation. The settlement is not an admission of wrongdoing. But we're going to pay you money in case your MacBook has sparks. Yes. <laughs> Apple has agreed to provide a cash benefit to class members who purchased a replacement adapter for a, set, for a subject computer or adapter covered by the settlement and uh, who send in a valid claim form. The settlement provides for different cash payments depending on when you purchase a replacement adapter. Um, I no longer own that MacBook, but I remember I, I did purchase an adapter. I think I get the, I'd probably get the $35 one. Interesting. Anyway. Anyway, we're talking about the iPad? Yeah, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Go, yeah. Well, you said MagSafe, so that, that triggered that. Yeah, I, I, I know. It, it, it's like, it, it's like I'm, I'm laughing at what the suit's over. I'm like, hmm. It kind of reminds me of the water cooling incidents. Yeah, with the G5. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh yeah, they're so superior. They were. Power PC chips were. They smoked everything. No, I'm referring to the overall system. <laughs> the, those leaked water like nobody's business. They basically peed all over the place. <laughs> well, there was a there was an allotment that did, but they, not all were symptomatic. Uh, I I uh, I know, but it's. <laughs> uh, be careful now. Now you're entering PowerPC or territory. That's that's where I get hired. Yeah. Now now I'm gonna get now I'm gonna get all the Apple fanboys going. You didn't know what you're talking about, Ross. You suck. Oh, I'm gonna vouch for this. Okay. Intel Max is Mr. Bit Star Trek. On PowerPC is Mr. Bit Double on Five. Exactly. See, we have to don't clarify these things. Uh, don't forget that all three gaming consoles right now uh, pretty much are using PowerPC chips that actually did come from Apple. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Okay. And, but, and, and, and let's get this straight. You know, all this. The iPad's going to take on gaming consoles. And look how much more memory it has than the Xbox and PlayStation 3. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, systems. Uh, no, that's the wrong, wrong. <laughs> Who gives a crap that you, you, that doesn't even matter? You actually gave credence to that argument. The real thing is, all of you are dumbasses, and if you want to put up embedded DDR2 memory up against XDR uh, memory, you know, have at it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it actually has XDR. <laughs> Well, and of course, Apple started off their little short, albeit short announcement, re-emphasizing, we are in the post-PC world, and we have all three post-PC devices. I'm like, okay, Apple. <laughs> yeah, you wish. How do, how do you make apps on a post-PC device? Oh, a PC. Oh, wait, no, you don't need a PC. You need a Mac. It's not a PC. I mean, oh, no. I, I, you're right, though, Commodore, the... Uh the uh, PlayStation has XDR, and then and then uh, Xbox uses GDDR3, I believe. So everybody wants to compare those two memory types against LPDDR2, which is you know low level uh, uh, memory for you know for mostly for embedded systems. You know they're crazy. So. Now, um, why isn't there some sort of why doesn't it work with XA6 anymore? Boogie used to back in the day with RAM bus, but it doesn't work anymore. Is the market for RAM too expensive or what? What are you talking about, XDR? Yeah. No, XDR is still kicking. It's just in X86 land. Oh, it was. You, you waste. It's a waste of hardware. But in, in, are you kidding? Me? <laughs> <laughs> but it's with, with Intel putting it in with Intel. No, hell no. With some look, look, our PCs are crap. Uh, in, in terms of if you want to get efficient power, XDR is needed in like video processing for parallel threads and, and, and maximum throughput concurrency. So you, you know why it's like putting a, a Rolls Royce engine in a, in, in a Pinto. Okay. Yeah, if I can travel back in time, okay, Bill Gates, you're using a 6502, not, not an Intel CPU. Fuck off. <laughs> Actually, no, just think 
about the Atari Jaguar and how they said it was 64-bit and it had a 32-bit processor and a 32-bit GPU and a 64-bit accelerator. Okay, Game Boy. Yes, but it was pretty stupid of Atari to do that. But it's got a 64-bit accelerator, see? It's 64-bit. No, okay, it's not. Uh, it's marketing. Let people fix it in the marketing. Okay. Get, 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 getting for for a moment before we go off on a. Yeah, okay, let's put it this way. Let me give you a concept. XDR two is, I think, twice. Yeah, over twice as fast as GDDR five. So you're talking about 500 gigabits uh, a second. Makes you wonder why all this stuff is using DDR. Yeah, especially with DDR3 when they have uh, uh, higher frequency but increased latency. Which just kind of kills the point. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, each XDR2 DRAM can deliver, uh, wait, it's gigabytes a second. Is it 80 gigabytes a second? Uh, of peak bandwidth from a single 4 byte wide uh, 20 gigabit per second XDR2 DRAM device. With this capability, systems can achieve memory bandwidth of over 500 gigabytes a second on a single SLC. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, well, that came off wrong, really on topic. We, we talked about the iPad, then we talked about... Yeah, I, I, I know. I'm like, okay, now, uh, I'm going to call that part chip... What, why computers are made wrong? <laughs> now getting back temporarily to the iPad before we go completely out Felder Skelter. Uh, like we were saying in the last part, every, it's like you were saying, CNN was like they could have made the thing a robot and people would have been disappointed with it because they were expecting it to be the moon. Uh, and they were saying the post-PC uh, stuff, it, which... I think all of us agree. It's like we are not post PC. Shut up, Apple. <laughs> yeah, where's your tech center? Where's your power? Then talk to me. <laughs> yeah. So no, I, I went off on the RAM thing because it's that's how absurd things can get. Um, where you know too much wishful thinking, where you have to spank people's, you know, you have to spank, spank their asses back in line, uh, and, and making outrageous claims when they have. No clue. Well, I can remember the megahertz myth where if that there's like a RAM yeah. now, like more RAM is better, even though you don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, you know, I was, that, I, I put a, a stop to that because Twitter started filling up. Like, there's more RAM in the iPad than the next time. No, like, it's not with laptops. Like, oh, there's a laptop, 8 gigabytes of RAM, even though I just browse the web. Just to watch me. Yeah. The uh, RAM on the device is not even is not even the significant part of providing you the, the graphics display. They're, they're augmenting it on all the cores. The, the, the RAM itself is shared between the device and, and the GPU, but the, they're augmenting all of the, the necessary uh, basic graphic layers through the four GPUs to get you the better performance. It's got one gig of memory, though, mm -hmm. uh, of RAM. Well, yeah, no, in other words, the iPad finally caught up to the rest of the industry. Yeah, my RIM Blackberry's playbook has had the one gig of RIM for a while. Yeah, I mean, for crying out loud, the Zoom had a gig, and probably the wave of uh, devices coming out in the next 18 months are going to have upwards of two. Yeah, the only one that's behind are the gaming, the current gaming consoles, but they're going to be taken away. Wait, 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 but this I this, you didn't listen, that's what I'm talking about, this a gig of XDR? What the hell are you going to do with a gig of XDR? That, that would be like... Bandwidth. Yeah, it, it, that's what we're discussing. The bandwidth of, of um, LP to DR2 is you need up to, basically up to channels. It, they'll eventually get to the channels for, for current throughput. But why do you need a, a, a full gig of XDR memory or even XDR2 memory? Maybe the Xbox can go up to GDR, GDDR5, but now you're, I mean, it may be overkill for the price. You don't even need to uh, have, have that yeah, much. Yeah, like bottom you learn by a slow component. Yeah, I mean, it's like, why do you need that much throughput? So, I don't know why they would need to add a, a, a gig of what? Okay, if you wanted to go up maybe from 250 to 500, 
you know, like, it'd be like if you ram as, like, uh, like, if you ram to be twice as fast, it wouldn't matter if it's, if it's the same speed if you, if you upgrade your ramp. Yeah, it's like, this is, we're not talking about the same memory topologies at all. <laughs> and how they function. So, um, that's why it's, it's like, look, we need to get off of the how much memory you have. Okay, what type of memory do you have? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's you're fine with memories as long as you don't run out. <laughs> well, I'm trying to compare oranges to oranges. I'm comparing, like, the iPads to things like the other tablets, like what BlackBerry and Android are making, which are very much... The only one that I think has XDR memory in it was the PlayStation 3, and it flopped. Oh, did it? Uh, 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 okay, but uh, uh, again, that's game okay, consoles. But, uh, We're talking about slates. Yeah, and, and XDR is already used in TVs, and, and most, of, most of your high-end HD video products as it is. Well, XD, XDR too, I should say. The, the, the uh, Xbox 360 just uses GDDR RAM, which is uh, private memory to the GPUs. Associate, so they you, 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 you know, I'm starting to think we need to do a tutorial show on RAM. Because this is obviously something y'all are going to go off on. For. <laughs> no, it's just, I mean, I'm just saying. What, what the hell? There, there are video cards, though, with a gig of, like, GDDR3 and GDDR5. I don't know how much you pay for that shit, but... About... A, 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 the, actually, not that much. Gig cards have gotten... Uh, affordable now, actually. It's the two gig cards that are expensive now. Yeah, three gig. Yeah. It's out now. Let's see here. EVGA GeForce GTX is two two hundred twenty five alone. No, look at this. Look at the seventy nine seventies or the seventy nine nineties. The Wii uses uh, flash memory. Okay, like we said, it's a game and you're just trying to play it. You are obsessed with game consoles, this. <laughs> yeah, even though Eli has one of them. <laughs> He's like, all things are like the game console. The game console is the ruler of all. Like, We're not in a post-PC world. We're in a, it's a game console world. <laughs> I, I hate this, uh, Jennifer, game consoles. <laughs> okay. The next gen is better. And then Sony can deliver a gaming console that's not like $600 on yeah, but there's price drops. <laughs> okay, <laughs> back ba back to the iPad temporarily. Yeah. All right, I think we're done with the iPad. Let's not talk about memory or game consoles, okay? <laughs> I just I just threw that in there. That's all. That's all. Okay. Okay. We've been talking about like forty minutes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It took Sony seven years to finally drop the price. Down. Okay, yeah, they dropped the price like. It yeah. didn't drop it down to four fifty, but they dropped it down to five hundred. Okay, we got it down now to four fifty. Only three bucks. And, and I would it. say that the, 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 the PlayStation failed as a technology. It, 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 it did get uh, hurt with the, the cell technology. It became harder to develop for. And I, I, I'm just a very geeky, a very technical thing that's coming is, is like, especially in .NET, which I'll get into when we get into Microsoft stuff. Microsoft uh, is, is especially, even in now, has added packages for asynchronous um, threading, which that's even harder to do. Uh, in code, it requires a lot more code uh, involved in it. So, as we start to get, as we start to get more task oriented with our hardware, which the cell processor was designed to do, uh, rather than very symmetrical, uh, yeah, it, hopefully software programming will get to a point, especially like now since Microsoft is really employing a lot of, uh, of this uh, the upcoming Visual Studio 11 with. Uh, Okay, that's all I had to say. Okay, <laughs> until the next time you have fun. <laughs>